So I'm smoking my mushroom puree. Obviously it needs to deliver on smokiness because that's the challenge. But then you don't want it to be overpowering either. It will kind of just ruin the puree. Um, Richie, mind if I borrow your smoker for two minutes? I really want to use Richie's smoking gun and he's a legend and lets me use it. I'm just going to um, cold smoke these mushrooms. Cecil, so, do you mind if I use your blowtorch gun for two ticks just to light the smoke? Thank you. Okay, guys, that is half the time gone. 30 minutes gone, 30 minutes left to go. We are getting oh so close to the finish line, I think, aren't we? Thanks, Rich. Appreciate it heaps, mate. You're right, mate. Thanks, Cecil. I've got to think of something real fast that I can use for texture. I might just deep fry some shallots for some caramelisation on top. Believe it or not, it's much easier doing this than it is standing up there in front of those judges. Hi, Mark. What are you doing? Um, well, I've just got my cheesecake setting in the fridge. What's in the cheesecake? Uh, avocado. Avocado I'll, cheesecake. I made avocado lime cheesecake, and I'll be making a uh, coriander meringue to go with that, and then a candied tomato. So my inspiration is salsa. Have you got enough time to do it? I that? hope so, yeah. I do hope I have enough time to do it. You all right, Ben? Yeah, good, man. Turn it Sarah, how are you getting on? You're going to use the torch on the soil, is that yeah, right? Yeah, I just tried a little bit. It was, like, kind of ashy. Is this it? But I'm going to add raspberries to it. Yeah, you can taste that, yeah. that ash. So it's got to be kept in check. Yeah. What else have you got to do? Um, I need to cook my beef. Cook your beef? Yeah. OK, so you've got to cook it, you've got to rest it. Yeah. All those things, OK. It has to be perfect. All right. It's 25 minutes to go, everybody. It is time to start on my mousse. First and foremost, the mixture has to have enough cream in it for it to foam up. Put the banana mousse mixture into the siphon until it's half full. Then I seal the canister and I put in one cream charger. It's a new siphon, and because my hands is a bit greasy, I am having trouble breaking through the cream canister to release the gas inside. She's not getting the gas in there. No. If I can't get this to work, then there is no dish to present to the judges. I need to get the canister to work. I start to feel that the canister is becoming cold. So I think the gas is inside. And then I test it for the first time. It comes out very runny. To get the best out of this equipment, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah, 100%. You need to have either used it before or, you know, understand how to use it. So I give the canister four or five shakes, and it becomes thicker. I feel pretty good with how my dish came together. I feel like I used the blowtorch to my advantage. And the uh, next step is judgment time. <laughs> ben. Look, look, what's this confidence that's just come over you? I'm feeling uh, a heck of a lot better about my dish today than I was in the last challenge. Things just seem to flow together out there on the floor. Ben, you've plated a delicious looking dish. Thank you. It's a pork fillet spiced with cumin, fennel and coriander, a romesco, so blowtorch peppers, and a fennel, apple and pear salad just to top it off, add a bit of crunch, a bit of freshness. Are you top five? Are you top four? Where are you going to end up? I'm pushing for top. <laughs> for top. top one. Yeah, I mean, I'm really pushing to get through this and to, to take out the competition. Thanks, Ben. Leave us. We'll try that now. Thanks, Jets. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Great. Gee, he's really tightened his game, hasn't he? Look at that. Look at the colours on that. The smart, precise looking dish. Mm. OK, let's try it. That's delicious. The romescu with the pork, all those flavours are just working so well. This is my sort of food. Mm. Heaps of flavour in there. There's some texture, there's some freshness, there's some spice, yep. uncomplicated simplicity. That's how I describe it. Fennel and apple and pear slaw on the top. Piece of pork and a beautiful sauce. And it is magic to eat, isn't it? Mm. Best dish of the competition by Ben. Easily, yep. by a long shot. Mm. 
Sarah, what's the description of the dish? It's I fill it with parsnip puree, beetroot three different ways, and a horseradish cream. So you got the blowtorch today? Yep. How did you incorporate that into this dish? I blowtorched some of the little beetroot that I've roasted and made a beetroot soil and blowtorch that as well. And I hope you can taste it ashy flavour. Burning things to add that sort of ashy flavour. It's going to be wonderful or it could be a big fail. Yeah. Seem a little bit worried? I'm always worried. I get more worried each episode because everyone's so good. Alright Sarah, thank you. We're going to try cool. that now. Thank you. Thanks Sarah. Thanks Sarah. Look, I, I simply adore Sarah and I've loved a lot of her food, but it's a bit of a fail for me, I'm afraid. And I get what she was trying to do, bringing in the burnt and trying to balance that with the sweetness of the beetroot, but she hasn't really nailed it at all. A decent jus or something sauce in there would have just pulled that all together. Yeah, it's not a great dish. Those flavours actually work. She just hasn't pulled off the nuts and bolts of it. It's a shame. How you doing, Leah? Good, Josh. So what are you giving us today? So I made to you a avocado and lime cheesecake brulee with ginger nut and pumpkin crumble candy, tomato, rhubarb, and burnt coriander meringue. It's not off your menu, is it, Al or Mark? You guys seen anything <laughs> like this before? No. <laughs> Travelled the world. <laughs> it's a whole new cuisine. I think it's just pretty different. It's definitely, <laughs> let me tell you, it's definitely different. It's a cheesecake, but you've brulee the cheesecake. Yep. You did get the torch. You got to pick at the weapons of. I like um, playing with fire, so I might as well pick the. You torch. do like playing with fire, yeah. So why did you go and swap with Glenda then? I thought Glenda would be better off with the, the smoker. So if Glenda goes home today, you're fairly comfortable <laughs> with that. <laughs> I don't know. You thought you've done her a favour. Potentially, you've done more harm than good. Leave us to taste. Thank you. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Thanks, Leo. Thank you. It's good. The avocado cheesecake brulee. It could have been bruleed a little bit more, maybe if you flattened it off and put some more sugar on there and caramelised it more. And you get a good crack um, on it. Yeah, and then yeah. you get a bit of a crack on it, which is, I think, what he was trying to achieve. Pretty good effort, though. Great effort. Interesting effort. Yeah. <laughs> Wacky effort. Yeah. I feel really good. Love the smoking gun. And I'm so much more confident in being able to get what's in my head out onto the plate. Did you enjoy the test? Did you enjoy getting the smoking gun? Because Leo, he swapped you out, didn't he? He did. Leo knows that I'm really good with a smoker. I think he's actually done me a big favour. Thank you, Leo. So what have you done today? Uh, smoked pork fillet with coumarin apple puree, winter veg and crackling. The smoked component, how did you do that? I've smoked it pork fillet right at the end, just to infuse the flavour around the outside of it, because I still wanted it to taste like pork. Hopefully, it's enough. We've seen from quite clunky plating <laughs> yeah. to suddenly it looks like you've got it. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of study and having a really good play. Well, I think this looks amazing Thank and we you. are going to enjoy tasting this. So thanks very much, Glenda. No worries. Thanks, Thank you. Glenda. Enjoy. Glenda. See you. How good is that crackling? Mm. I think it's a really lovely dish. Maybe a bit more smoke would have been good. Yeah, it's hard to get a lot of flavour, I think, into pork fillet, and she's managed to get a little bit of the smokiness through there. Vegetables are all beautifully cooked. Crackling's lovely. It's a summer pork dish. It's not a big wintry, lots of gravy, no. grunty like that. It's just delicately put together, and it eats beautifully.